In this equation, we have to figure out what the value of x is. So when we plug in that value for x, everything on the left-hand side of the equal sign will be equal to 56. The first thing that we can do in this equation is get rid of this plus 12 and send it to the other side of our equation. To get rid of something that you're adding, you do the opposite of that, which is to subtract that number. But you must do it to both sides of your equation in order to balance your equation. 56 take away 12 is equal to 44. And remember to bring down your equal sign, and then bring down everything else on the left-hand side of your equation that you did not touch. So we have to bring down the 4 times the quantity x plus 5. The next thing that we have to do is get rid of this times 4 on the left-hand side of the equal sign. The opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing by 4. By dividing any number by itself, that will turn it into positive 1. And that leaves us with one whole quantity of x plus 5. On the other side of the equation, we also have to divide by 4 in order to balance our equation. And 44 divided by 4 is equal to 11, and we have to remember to bring down our equal sign. Now at this point, we should just be able to look at the variable x and figure out what it is, so when we add 5 to that number, it equals 11. We can clearly see that x should be equal to 6 because 6 plus 5 is 11. But to show work all the way until we get an answer, you would subtract 5 on both sides of your equation. The opposite integers cancel out, leaving us only with x on this side. And on this side, we have 11 take away 5, which is 6. So we would say that x is equal to 6. And we know this because if you were to go to the original equation and replace the variable x with the number 6 and solve, we should come up with the answer of 56. So let's just check to make sure. 6 plus 5 is 11, and 11 times 4 is 44, and if you add 12 to 44, you would get 56. Therefore, x is equal to 6.